CBS, the spoilers of Young and the Restless. Nate are going in a completely different wrong direction. He's advised by his relatives and friends, but is stubborn. He thinks his life will decide for himself. If he's wrong, please hate him. Don't love or have fun. And if nothing happens, keep quiet. Elena is bored with her current love, and she no longer had feelings for Nate. This is similar to the case of Sharon and Ray. They don't have love, but they don't divorce because it's quite regretful. It only makes them more tired and sluggish. Elena has always been a smart woman, uninhibited, and ready to let go of things that are not worth it. Imani and Nate's feelings are just budding. They don't have any commitments about the future, but if Nate exchanged marriage with Elena for a mistress, it would be quite regretful. Imani constantly comforts and wants Nate to break up with her, his current girlfriend. She doesn't want everyone to hate her for being the one who destroys other people's family happiness. Is Imani making fun of Nate's feelings and who she is? There are some rumors that Imani was only pretending to love Nate, sowing him a lot of nostalgia and then causing him to abandon his current love. When Elena and Nate broke up, Imani would turn the card upside down, telling the truth that she didn't love Nate, just a joke. Nate is thinking hard. He still treats Elena well and has never confirmed that he has feelings for Imani. Those are just rumors. He wants time to prove that whether he loves Elena or Imani, he doesn't want to go wrong. Elena is still waiting. She allows Nate to return at any time. Her love for him is still there, but he is no longer worthy, then that's okay. Imani is making love jokes. If she didn't show up, Nate and Elena would probably be married already. It's terrible and unacceptable. Imani's fleeting pleasure is over and a love has to disappear, yet she is a hater.